Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to hop on and do something a little bit different, and that is to talk about my eBay jewelry purchases. So before I get started, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Um, and my giveaway for my coach card case is still live, so um, check that video out in the card above. Great, so getting started, um, you'll see here that I have three rings. Two of them are ruby rings with diamonds, and one is just a plain gold ring. Uh, both of these rings are 14 karat gold, and this one is 18 karat gold. So I got these rings on eBay, actually. Both of these rings were pre-owned, and, and this ring was brand new. And I really like buying jewelry on eBay, especially fine jewelry with things like diamonds and gold, because um, you can really get a great deal for the amount of money that you pay. Uh, in particular, you can get a great deal off of what it would cost in terms of retail price to get these things, as long as you know kind of how to shop intelligently and make sure that you don't get ripped off or screwed over, buy something that's not really gold, buy something with uh, cubic zirconium instead of diamonds or glass instead of gemstones, things like that. So as long as you're careful and you kind of uh, pay attention to the details that I'm going to mention in the rest of this video, I think that it's a great way to get some really pretty jewelry pieces for a fraction of the cost of what you could get them in retail stores. Um, so, you know, before I get into the nitty gritty of uh, the different tips I have, I just want to show you the rings um, that I have bought off of eBay. And um, I do apologize, I think this one looks like it's a little bit dirty on the big ruby. But this is the first uh, ring that I bought on eBay. It is a um, ruby and diamond ring in 14 karat gold. The side, I really like the side, the, it's just a little bit interesting, it has a little bit of lift off of your finger. You can see that there are some kind of hairline scratches in the gold. I've had this ring for a while, probably over two or three years, so I could have made those scratches. They could have also been there when I bought it because I did buy it pre-owned. And you can see the ruby is kind of a pinkish color here, so this is certainly not like an heirloom level ruby, um, but I certainly wouldn't be able to afford kind of a very expensive ruby anyway, even if I didn't buy from eBay. Great. Um, and the next ring that I bought is this one. And this is one of my favorite rings. Um, it's a little bit difficult to pick up jewelry, especially gemstones on camera, but this one has some amazing sparkle from the diamonds. Um, it is a, a pear-shaped ruby surrounded by a halo of diamonds. And then this is 14 karat yellow gold. Um, again, it has some wear on the gold, some hairline scratches, probably from my own use, um, as well as maybe the person who owned it before me, but nothing um, terrible. It's obviously not misshapen. It is still a perfect circle, no bending, anything like that. Um, so it is a really beautiful piece. And in the sunlight, it looks um, very pretty. But again, you know, the ruby is not, um, not a deep, deep red. It's not an heirloom quality ruby but it is very beautiful. So when I think about buying um, uh, gemstone rings or gemstone items on eBay, there's a couple of things I look for. So first, um, I look to see whether the seller has um, sold a lot in the past and whether they have a good rating. So I can tell that they sold a lot in the past if they have a large number of reviews, so maybe like a thousand or more, and I can tell if uh, they have positive ratings because eBay will tell you, you know, this person has 99% positive ratings or 80% or whatever. Um, and so to me, that's kind of the first thing I look for is an experienced seller who um, has a lot of positive ratings. That said, um, if you are more willing to kind of take a risk, um, buying things from less experienced sellers often gets you a better deal because they don't really know the value of their piece. They're probably selling because it's their mom's piece who just passed away or they need some extra money and so they're emptying out their jewelry box and so you can get a, a better deal. But you have to be a lot more careful, you know, make sure that you go get it um, appraised and authenticated by a jeweler to make sure you're getting real gemstones, real diamonds, things like that. Um, but yeah, you can get a better deal that way. And I will say that eBay has great buyer protection. 
um, you if you buy something and then re- understand or learn that it is fake, um, either from a jeweler jewelry appraiser, all you have to do is you know start a return with the seller, and if they're not being cooperative, you open a case with eBay. You say, hey, I went to a jeweler, got this appraised, and it's not real. Uh, they lied on their listing, and you'll you know send the product back and get your money back. Of course, I also, because, because of that risk of needing to send the product back, I also filter usually to U.S. sellers. There's a lot of Chinese and Indian sellers on eBay, and you know, not to say they're not selling great quality products, but I don't want to have to ship something back to China if I find out that it's fake. Um, so the other piece that I have from eBay is this ring which is a gold band with a beautiful kind of scroll design. And this one is still available for purchase on eBay, so I will link it down below. This one is 18 karat gold. It's um, it's not a uh, like perfectly round circle or anything like that, but it does feel very solid, and it does feel... Um, very high quality. So whenever I'm looking to buy um, on eBay, I, I read the description very carefully because a lot of the time what people will do is they will say in their title, you know, gold ring with diamonds. And then you read the description and it's actually a gold plated ring with cubic zirconium. Um, and they don't they don't get in trouble for that. I don't know why eBay doesn't make them stop doing that, but that's that's something they do. So always make sure you read the description very carefully um, because the description is going to be kind of the the protection that you have. Um, if in their description they say, you know, oh, this is gold plated, this is fake diamonds, and then you try to go complain to eBay, you have a less strong case um, because you should have read the description and the seller was, although kind of being deceiving in the title, was being honest in the description. The other thing that I look for when I buy gemstone rings in particular is whether the, um, the the page says anything about genuine gemstones. Because a lot of the time when people are selling gemstones on eBay or anywhere on the internet, they'll sell you a lab-created stone and not say anything about it. So if you get it um, and it's, it's a lab-created stone, A, it's going to be really, really hard for a jeweler to tell the difference between a lab-created stone and a natural stone. And B, you won't, again, have that protection of the description really saying, oh, this is a genuine stone. Um, The other thing I look for is for the seller to know whether the stone was heat treated or any kind of enhancement to the gemstone. Um, this is this is the kind of thing that you would expect someone who's like really well versed in jewelry to know, um, and so just them being able to say like, oh, this this ruby was heat treated, which is a common treatment for rubies, or um, you know these diamonds were X treated. I don't actually know how diamonds are treated. Um, is is kind of a sign to me that the jeweler or the seller knows what they're doing and at least knows what to look for and the terminology to talk about. And finally, um, the other thing that I look for is to, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, there we go. <laughs> in uh, To look for in the pictures, a picture of the ring actually on a hand. Because on eBay, you know, what they do is they zoom in really, really close because they want you to be able to see every little imperfection of the ring so that they're protected if you get the ring and, you know, there's there's more inclusions in the ruby than you expected or the ruby is not as red as you expected, things like that. So they really get up close there. And what that can do is that can make the ring look incredibly large. And you can expect, you know, oh, this ruby is going to be like this big on my finger. It's going to be so glamorous. But then you get it and it's this tiny little ring, you know, very dainty and, and you're disappointed. So if they have pictures of the ring on someone's hand, that can be really helpful. And if they don't, just make sure you look and see what the gem measurement is in millimeters and put that on your finger so you can get an idea of what the product size is that you're getting. So yeah, that's how I buy uh, jewelry on eBay. I've mostly bought rings. I've actually only bought rings so far, um, but I am venturing out into buying maybe bracelets and necklaces and things like that. I think it's a great way to get a killer deal, um, and I have a lot of fun kind of sorting from uh, ending soonest on auctions to see if I can score, you know, like a ruby ring for 10 bucks or anything like that, which is totally possible if you're willing to play that game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Enter my giveaway and please subscribe.